Okay, so on to the next track slash performance in Sonia's Music Marathon. Man, we continue with this. Sorry, I was away for two days, unfortunately. Uh, I had to look after my little one because my wife was away on a conference and the guy is literally just over three years old and he's a tornado literally a tornado it's impossible to get anything done uh when he's at home so it's crazy but anyway let's get into the very next one man uh vitalines vitalines never heard of this one before it's called judgment day is here the message over here from sonia is vitalines is tommy denanda swedish guitarist songwriter and record producer uh robbie leblanc acoustic guitarist and singer Okay, never heard of them, brand new to the channel. And for those of you who are only joining us now, you can actually go and watch from the beginning of this series because we're already 10 reactions in. This is now the 11th and we're continuing. We're gonna drop quite a few today. Um, and uh, for those of you who want additional content, links are down in the pinned comment and the description. Go to The Sphere. You can subscribe to The Sphere for additional content, for daily additional content. Obviously, I didn't drop the last two days, but I'll catch that up over this weekend and I'll put in The Sphere. Lots of content gonna be dropping there. And Alex is starting to populate The Sphere as well. So let's uh, rock and roll, man. Let's see what we've got over here. Let's go. the lyrics because the lyrics are obviously uh people can relate to the lyrics over there everyone goes through hard times everybody goes through those moments where you do feel like you're shackled and chained and uh you can't get ahead of life and you kind of static and dormant and stagnant and you know you just can't get ahead essentially so you look for anything you become desperate to a certain degree you look up you look to the sides you look wherever you can look to try and find that lucky break i really like the lyrics i'm a little indecisive about the actual sound i'm a little indecisive about the instrumentation that kind of sounds a little it kind of sounds a little like messy and loud. I don't know. I, I, that might be wrong. I, it might be the wrong way to actually say it. But it just sounds like there's just too much going on in the instrumentation that's taking a little bit away from the from the lyrical side of this. I don't know. Let me anyway. I'll I'll make up my mind on this shortly. Let's go. like i don't understand the actual video like why would they literally just take them unless this is not the original video i'm not entirely sure but why would they take the um <laughs> them actually singing this and then just drop the opacity and then just overlay it onto stock footage <laughs> like random stock footage of like a <laughs> just random places essentially now this is an airport the control tower in the airport uh, it's on the on the screens for some odd reason but uh, uh I, I like the fact that you know the hook is actually quite nice the chorus over there where he literally says this is judgment day right because eventually everyone gets to their judgment day you know you can keep denying reality all you like but eventually the reality is going to snap back and that will be your reckoning that will be the judgment day it's either you know you change your life forever or you destroy your life forever so i like that i like the premise of the song i'm still undecided about the instrumentation I've been running down the path of all these lies 
feels like it's not actually a video that was created by them obviously somebody um overlaid this right so this is obviously not their video so i i can't i can't blame it because now that i actually see this over here on like a tesla screen i'm pretty sure <laughs> this was not recorded at that time i'm pretty sure that it was even before teslas anyway that's that's me well I, I, i'm pretty sure of it but i could be wrong anyway carry on guitar solo over there but I, I'm, I'm usually i tend to be quite opposed to like um music that's like like progressive when i say progressive i'm not meaning it in the political term i'm talking about where it seems like it's just it's progressive in the same way like it doesn't there's no fluctuations or changes it doesn't feel like i'm on a roller coaster it just feels like the music's just got that same sort of sound the entire time so sonically it kind of gets tiring if if that makes any sense but either way like the lyrics i like that little guitar solo as well let's go I'm sure the song was actually a 90s or an 80s song i don't know but given the uh the kind of music and b-roll of uh, music videos and b-roll that they used to put into the 90s or 80s music video you can understand my confusion <laughs> with sort of kind of thinking that this could very well have been a real music video but then after when i saw the graphics and i'm like nah nah that's too it's too modern day um so there's no ways but uh yeah you know what i like the lyrics over there i like the hook over there I'll, uh, uh, it was a, it was a good song it was a good song it put it that way it was a good song not the best song i've ever heard in the world not my favorite probably not something i'd ever put on my playlist but good song good lyrics can't fault it can't fault it other than the, the, the actual instrument instrumentation being a bit too progressive for me where it's just consistently running on that same uh sound but you guys let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!